bullying is not okay by Eve Brownstone. My seventh grade teacher's advice to me, Eve, if you don't react, they'll stop teasing you. And I was a sensitive 12 year old. I would cry. A bully would say something to me and I would start crying right in my seat. Looking back, I wished I had used humor or I had the strength to give it right back to them. It would have been more fun to be the class clown than the class victim. Coming from Chicago to Akron, I didn't know anybody. And I didn't wash my hair every day or wear fancy clothes. I was coming from Hyde Park and from the Chicago Children's Choir to the bowling capital of the world and to the middle of the Bible Belt. I tried to get out of class as much as possible in seventh grade. I tell my teachers I wasn't feeling well, which would would be taken up by the bullies who would say, Eve is woozy. The guidance counselor and I got to know each other really well. Today I hear about kids killing themselves because of bullying and adults just standing by letting it happen. It doesn't make me cry anymore, it makes me furious. Somehow these bullies learn that their behavior is justified or okay. They continue to harass the families even after the young person killed themselves or herself. I'm glad those nine students in Massachusetts are arrested. It troubles me that these young people felt like they didn't have an option. The psychopathic bullies won then. After years of bullying, I could have felt reduced to nothing, just mush on the floor. I know today some of my self-doubt comes from the taunting. I guess what helped me was getting involved with choir, performing, and lots of therapy. Having a loving family and some close friends also helped. I also used to walk and jog a lot. I remember my walks to Summit Mall on Saturdays. I'd walk out my frustration pounding the pavements. I still do. I keep walking. I believe that if you're still alive, things can change and get better. I guess that belief ultimately was what kept me going in junior high school. My hope kept me moving on and still does. If I were to have some of these bullies in front of me today, I would say, you missed out on knowing a very special person. I didn't let your taunting and harassment stop me from having the kind of life I want. I truly believe in myself in spite of you. Then I would laugh and beam with all the divine light inside of me. And one by one, the bullies would become charming and kind men and women, and they would dance with me. They wouldn't be able to help themselves. I don't want revenge. I want more hearts to open and more love in the world. I think young people who use their energy to hurt and bully others are missing the mark of life. They don't feel loved and can't love. They need love, we all do. That may sound too mushy or cliche. Being vulnerable and compassionate are signs of strength It is a waste of time to hold on to my anger and rage. I got a lot out of therapy, and now I want to use my energy to heal, to love and create. I want my anger to move me into action for the better, like writing this piece. I wish you peace. I wish you action and ability to laugh out loud 
and a voice to say no and a loving hand to hold. Bless you, Eve Brownstone. Thank you.